water, earth, fire. For hundreds of years, the four nations have lived in harmony. The Avatar, master of all four elements, was always responsible for maintaining the peace. But Avatar Roku passed away 13 years ago. Now, the four nations look to the Air Nomads to reveal the next Avatar, but the world is met with silence. Rumors from the Earth Kingdom abound that the Fire Nation is planning an aggressive move into the Earth Kingdom. Five young heroes were too late to save the Southern Air Temple, but they hold vital information that could save the Earth Kingdom, and maybe even save the world. Previously, Maybe we just get rid of Tofu forever? Like we're all sharing a single large, large outfit? <laughs> No, that's <laughs> okay, because I I was thinking that was kind of stupid. Uh, number yeah, two, that's third. What number two, one bucket two? of slippery eels. Uh, yeah. Number four, uh, pinchy prawns. You're a fishing village, right? You have access to those. You gotta get a lot better at ranking your <laughs> ideas, man. My name is Casa, and tomorrow, come find me. The best way you can thank us is by pretending to be that guy. If the bad guys come to town, and I point to Osa. You, young airbender, are destined for great things. People of Wanya, <laughs> we have a plan. Merely one day ago, we were strangers to each other. And yet here we are, mere children, putting our lives on the line for your village. Welcome to the Flying Bison Podcast. <laughs> we're back. It's another week. It's another episode. I am your storyteller, Justin. Oh, and I, he has to go last because he deserves to be last. But I would like everyone else to introduce themselves. And Nick, <laughs> you're going last. Hi, I'm Monroe, and I play Liko. Uh, I'm Johnny, and I play Osa. I'm Steve, and I'll be playing Ren Song. I'm Danny, and I play Rose Zuck Lon Sure. I'm and Nick. someone is. Oh, oh sorry, you're oh, talking. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I, I do have to introduce myself. He's still here. He's still here. Uh, okay, all right. We'll keep him around for a little bit, I guess. I am Nick playing Chain Out Lon Sure. It's, it's happening, guys. <laughs> it's, uh, it's cold out. I don't, well, Monroe, it's probably not cold out for you. But I woke up. <laughs> I woke up yesterday, and I had to put Rio. When I took him to school, I had to put him in like long sleeves because it's fall. Whoa! And with it's fall cool. comes a something that some people hate, some people don't. Have so I ever, gotta know. Have we ever explained to the listeners who Rio is? Uh, no, They'll find out. No, it's a secret. I like to keep it a secret. I'll just refer right. to this mysterious person named Rio. No, no, no. Rio's Rio's my Justin's Rio, pet bird. Rio is just pet Rio bird. is Justin's yeah. pet echidna. <laughs> yeah, I take my pet echidna to uh, echidna daycare every day <laughs> in long sleeves. In long sleeves, of <laughs> course. <laughs> I don't want my baby to get cold. <laughs> Most of our listeners will be uh, used to only seeing echidnas in gloves and shoes. <laughs> That's true. So whenever we refer to no. Justin's kid, that's just short for a kid. Kid. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 No, no. Rio's Rio's my my three year old son. Oh. And he, oh, all right. Uh, Gross. Yesterday, he's not he's not a pet. Uh, <laughs> but speaking of pets, um, yesterday, uh, uh, just totally unprompted, he walked out of his room and said, "Hey, Dad, can we get a puppy soon? You can go work at a coffee shop, and I'll take care of the puppies by myself." <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like Rio has this strange ideal that he's the most responsible person in the household. He's <laughs> used to hanging out with his uncle Danny. That's why. <laughs> I, I am trying to figure out at what point I break the news to him that he is not in charge. <laughs> That's like having a cat. You just never tell him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Except a cat doesn't speak back to you. Yeah. Have you uh, heard Nick's cat? <laughs> I have. He definitely <laughs> tries. I have. Nick's cat is talking the entire time we are recording. 
So okay. Nick actually muzzles his cat before every recording. I do. I do no such thing. <laughs> no, no, no cats were harmed in the audio recording of this podcast. Yeah, as a as a true. former youth pastor, I definitely recommend teaching your kids that they're not in charge as early as possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, that's a good point. Yeah, because uh, otherwise they really won't learn it. You know, it, oh man, parenting He's, is an parenting is another thing. We could just I could probably not get into that one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's Rosa and Chanel can talk all about parenting. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll deal with it in session. Um, <laughs> back to my original question: pumpkins? <laughs> what about? I they do make me feel yeah. pumpkins. Is that a yes/no question? <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Pumpkins? Yes. No, um, everything yeah. is pumpkins now. Yeah. Like I was they're at, everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. freaking safe. Yeah. I I went to Trader Joe's the other day, and I always get a couple like fun things, and I saw I saw something that finally made me upset, because they only not not only did they have pumpkin flavored JoJo's, but they had original flavored JoJo's shaped like pumpkins, <laughs> and I don't understand why they needed both of those. Why couldn't they just make the pumpkin flavored JoJo's pumpkin shaped? This is some real dad rage, but also I need to know what a JoJo is. Uh, okay. uh, JoJo is a knockoff Oreo. Okay. Mm-hmm. They're right. okay. They're not Oreos. Oreos are amazing. JoJo's are okay. They're good. They're We're going to lose all our JoJo fans now. I've never heard of JoJo's, just to make that clear. That's fine. Hopefully that's a small portion of the population that we lost. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll say I am not a fan of pumpkins. I'm not a fan of gourds of any kind. Um, <laughs> squashes. Squashes. I hate. My wife is affirming my distaste for, for those things in the background. Just generally anti gourd. Oh, yeah, I hate them. I hate them. I hate pumpkin pie. I hate pumpkin spice. I hate pumpkin smell. Pumpkin candles. I hate pumpkins. Pumpkins well, yeah, can wow. go suck a bag okay, of like, snips. Okay, but what about like. <laughs> Butternut squash. <laughs> butternut squash is disgusting. And it has no place. What about Johnny? Johnny, what about what, yeah? A, hit me with what it. about a gourd banjo? I don't what? no, I don't want it. I'm upset it's a banjo that exist made out of a gourd. No, I here's the thing. I just moved to the south where I am right now. It is currently at 9:37 p.m. Still almost 80 degrees, and that's the way I like to live my life warm and without gourds oh or gourds how about a bottle gourd <laughs> what like a gourd that holds I just, water i just know i googled types of gourds <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder how about a what? wax gourd how about a lufa <laughs> <laughs> okay lufas are mad cool though yeah um, uh, all right, so that's one end of the spectrum. I don't, even like, I don't even like position. sweet potatoes because they taste too much like whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, John. <laughs> Fighting wow, that would really... All right, all right, guys. We'd like to take a moment of silence for our friend Johnny. He will be leaving the podcast. <laughs> and the world. <laughs> Soon. If so, you send me to another world with no gourds, I'd be happy to go there. <laughs> You know world. that won't be your punishment. A, gourd, a gourdless <laughs> world. You will be yeah. living on a planet that is a gourd. <laughs> I like <laughs> two things. I like cordless technology and gourdless gardens. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so, so I. Yeah. What about no, 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 we've gotten that out of the way. <laughs> I love pumpkin curry. I also love. Using spaghetti squash like with like a cream sauce and chicken, I think that's a great thing to do. Johnny's just making all these faces at me right now. He's totally <laughs> appalled. I dig. I mean, Olivia does. My wife does a lot of stuff with gourds and squash, so <laughs> it's great. Great idea. Feel that. One time, she perfectly guessed um, the weight of like a fifty-pound pumpkin, and we won it and had to bring it back to our campus apartment where there was not room to properly cook and preserve it. So we had to use multiple ovens on campus, cut it into fourths and cook it over the period of a Saturday in sections and then carve all that out and freeze it for months so that we could use it slowly for curries and soups. So anyway, and pies. 
Um, but I will say I am very against using pumpkins as a decoration because it's an utter waste of food. And it's really sad to me how much it's we spend food, on that. It's garbage. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, uh, the pumpkins you usually put outside, I mean, they're not very good for cooking. They kind of, they actually kind of suck. Well, but, the big ones, I see a lot of big I mean, ones out there. The little decorative ones, maybe, yeah. No, the little ones are actually better. Oh, for, really? Like, yeah, mm -hmm. they, yeah, they're sweeter, they have more flavor. I don't know, the one we used was cooking. great. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> In any case, like Osa, those are my Osa thoughts now. on pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, is Osa just trying to I jump hate in vegetables? Osa's, Osa's feelings about vegetables may be a little uh, closer to home than I was initially admitting to. That was the touchdown that you jumped off. You're like, yeah. Osa hates vegetables. I hate vegetables. Got Let's do this. How about, what do uh, this character and I have in common? How about Monroe? <laughs> how do you feel about pumpkins, Monroe? Um, I mean, for fall, I think they're. I think they're great. I like the fall season. I love spooky season. I do love doing the whole jack o' lantern thing and stuff like that. I don't like pumpkin spice latte, mm -mm. but I do like a pumpkin pie, and I do like the pumpkin smell. You know, when you get the air fresheners and stuff like that. It, to me, it's just. I know. I see. I see you, Johnny. <laughs> but you don't live <laughs> with me, so, so you don't have to disgusted. deal with it. <laughs> He's so Fair disgusted. Enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but I like the smell of it. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a problem with it. As far as I like, get in, in my food, like spaghetti and stuff or whatever, it's just a spaghetti squash. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure that we have them every once in a while, but I just don't notice it. So, yeah, I'm not opposed to it at all. I'm not Johnny. I'm the, I'm the opposite end of Johnny, I guess. Like, I'll eat it if it's there. <laughs> Johnny's like, clearly, nope. <laughs> I try my hardest to be one of those people who like if I'm at someone's house visiting and they give us food like I eat everything on my plate just to be polite I can't make myself do it with squash or like gourds like I, I just they're the worst Is if you the present texture or the yeah, taste I hate, or I hate the taste I hate the taste okay That's if you fair. present Johnny with like like a plate of sweet potato fries at like your house gathering he will spit on the floor and leave <laughs> That's 100% oh. true <laughs> Wow. If I ever see Johnny in person, I'm gonna make him a dish called Dousy Pumpkin. I won't tell him what it is. That's gonna be real good. I have I have a major clue. I think. Well, I'm not gonna I'm gonna name it, and it's not gonna look like pumpkin, and you won't. I feel know. like. Why well, do I feel like it's definitely like a? I know it's a Filipino thing because of my family, but I feel like. Is it an Asian thing where like you find out one of your friends doesn't like like a certain ingredient or food item and like your entire family is just like I'm gonna make them like this. Like I'm mm -hmm. gonna sneak it into this like you know? That was definitely my experience. I don't know if Yeah. <laughs> well that's now just... I have like a new fear that you've just activated, a new complex where I'm probably no, not gonna okay. be able to eat food any of my Asian friends who know I, I was, hate pumpkin uh, give me. I was just joking. <laughs> It's like a, That's um, not true. It's like, there was pumpkin in that kung pao chicken. neither confirm or deny what he Well, uh, here's my fun fact. Did you know that there's actually no pumpkin in pumpkin spice? I was gonna say. I feel like there's not. Mm. There's no pumpkin at all. It is all other that sense. seasoning that tastes like pumpkin pie. I am not as vehement against gourds in general as Johnny. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of pumpkins, though. The pumpkin flavor. Especially pumpkin pie. I mm. detest pumpkin pie. It's a garbage pie, that's why. It, uh, I think for me, it's more of the like uh, the consistency. Like I don't like the mush. I don't like mushy stuff. Uh, so it's like... It's literally just like mush. Yeah. Pumpkin flavored mush. Not out. Yeah. What about a pumpkin ale? Has I, it, I, anyone tried that? No, I, I do pumpkin ale. I hate pumpkin flavored beer. So do I. I hate it. I hate pumpkin flavored beer. I don't think I've it tried tastes it. Like, it tastes waxy to me for some reason. Like, there's like I'm, it tastes like I'm drinking a pumpkin scented candle melted down <laughs> and fermented, and I hate it. So this got really intense. I, yeah, we, <laughs> this is supposed to be like our softball icebreaker. We're just warming up here. I'd just like to point out that uh, everybody has mentioned 
things that are pumpkin flavored that they don't like, even if they've said they like pumpkin, because even though they haven't admitted them to admitted it to themselves yet, deep down they don't like pumpkin. That's why you don't like the pumpkin flavored thing, because pumpkin is a garbage vegetable and no one should eat it. I like all this stuff. energy is going to show us in battle today. Yeah, you know, we're, we're we're hyping ourselves up for the um the Wanya de- defense. Subconsciously, we're like, we need to protect this village. Muster all of your gourd <laughs> hatred, Johnny. <laughs> Just imagine they're gourds. <laughs> imagine they're all gourds. <laughs> if we, if if I had one wish where I could, I had to use it to eradicate something, and I wouldn't pick like war or famine. I'd pick pumpkins. They're gone. <laughs> Done with them. So just cause more famine. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. No one's ever gotten full eating a pumpkin. <laughs> we haven't tried dicey pumpkin, and I never will. I once had chocolate covered <laughs> pumpkin seeds. Those are actually kind of good. Actually, I don't hate the pumpkin is, seeds. Pumpkin yeah, seeds don't taste like pumpkin though. They it's true. Found something. They taste found like something. They taste like <laughs> like bigger sunflower seeds. Yes. I I'm here for pumpkin seeds. It's the pumpkin seeds for me, right? That's what the kids are saying. <laughs> yeah, that's the exact same. <laughs> that's, that's, yep. Yeah, that's, you did it. That's pretty it. sure. Rio is probably saying that right now. Yeah. <laughs> It's the, the puppies for me, Dad. It's the puppies. For me. <laughs> Sorry, I got so impassioned, guys. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. No, it's feelings, I, feelings are okay here. We are safe. We they are. Sure. I am a little hurt that you came at sweet potato fries. <laughs> but, That's a, we'll, we'll, yeah, I can't get. Let's just not get it. Yeah, let's not. You, you guys will talk later. Yeah, we can talk later. <laughs> we'll, uh, I've got some words for you. I was going to go through some changes. <laughs> I've got some words for you. Well, we, uh, it's, it's here. It's this episode. It's going to happen tonight. We're recording this tonight. You oh, are going. Wait, wait, we're recording now? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been, Danny, been happening. Danny, we've been recording. Oh, gosh. We weren't just talking about pumpkins. I thought we were just talking about pumpkins. <laughs> we don't do that in real life, Danny. We only no. talk about pumpkins for the people. <laughs> Who talks about pumpkins? It's what they want. <laughs> they asked us. All over social media. Talk about pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give them what they want. You gotta. That's how we get the ratings and reviews. Best pumpkin related avatar content. Um <laughs> I had lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh no, I know. You're uh you're defending Wan Ya Village. It's gonna yes. happen. Yeah. Because you uh I mean a lot of last episode we, it was great. We had a lot of uh some good conversation amongst the characters and a good conversation between Osa and Toko and a, and a, a he'll grow into it. A good speech by Ren. <laughs> he'll he'll get it. He'll get into it, I think. You can't um, nail your first speech, you know? No, you can't. And mm. honestly, Steve, most people have ghostwriters, you know? Yeah, Ren will find so, one. He'll find I a think, ghostwriter. I think even though we dubbed uh, Liko our leader, we should definitely dub Ren our face mm. of the group. Yeah. Like the speech, <laughs> the speech maker. Yeah, you've got, you've got the ideas guy in Che. You've got the... Hey, wait, I thought, the, I, I thought Rosic was the ideas the guy. fake ideas guy. <laughs> Here we go. You've got the comic relief. Yeah. I feel like Rosic is the muscle, though. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. Let's really get it. I feel like Rosic is the muscle. Yeah. There was some uh, serious oh, fire yeah. bending back there, Rosic. Uh, we the haven't murder. seen Osa like go off like the same way that Rosic no. has. Osa is the one that um drives the party to move forward yes. via to the food hunger. <laughs> there is no pumpkins. To, to the food. <laughs> Better not have the any pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking in terms of like the presidential cabinet. Like Ren is the the press secretary, Liko's the president, <laughs> Che is like the secretary of state, and uh, Rozak is the vice president. No one's quite sure what he's doing there, but <laughs> probably something. <laughs> it's gotta be something, right? <laughs> no, I think he just hired him, right? <laughs> I'm just, ha- I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, what, what do I don't know what Osa is. I just, <laughs> it's agriculture. Department of agriculture. More like Department of, of Meat. 
yeah, Department of Defense. Yeah, all, the, all the murder that happens, or all the suggested murder. <laughs> all the suggested oh, murder. Man. Well, yes, uh, you bed it down for the night uh, in the top floor of the Blind Unagi. Um, and it is morning, but before we get to what you guys do in the morning, um, there is a there's a rest mechanic in Avatar Legends because you guys have fatigue. So when you rest, let me just find it here. When you rest in a comfortable space, like an actual house with a mat underneath you and a blanket over you, clear five fatigue. So if you had any fatigue, get rid of that fatigue. Get awesome. rested. I had five, so you are all clear. I just get rid of all of it, or just all of it. Yeah, all all yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's pretty great. And uh, if you sleep out in the in the like wide open space, um, you clear three fatigue. So, like, depending on on how well you're sleeping, depends on how much f- fatigue you clear. Nice. Um, but don't don't unmark any conditions if you have those conditions marked. There are uh, there should be you should see mechanics for how to how to get rid of those. But um, if you have any questions, you can you can ask me about that as well too. Well, you guys wake up. Uh, what are you doing? You've got sort of the day to prepare. You know that uh, Rohu and his gang are coming two days later, so you've pretty much got all today and most of tomorrow to sort of prepare. So if you guys chop the bamboo down, I can kind of earth bend it into a little like into the ground and just kind of as quickly as possible kind of line up a row. You can make like like slots for the bamboo to go into. Well, I was just gonna like carry it into the ground. Oh, okay, that works. It might even be faster if we just we take as many people as we can to go start chopping bamboo. Will you walk the perimeter of the village, make earth bending like post holes, and then um once and we'll just put the bamboo in, and then you can continue your circuit and close the post holes so that it's nice and secure. Instead of sounds, so you don't you don't touch any any bamboo. Yeah, no, that works probably best. I accidentally said entirely out of character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Ren, Ren asks uh, so <laughs> Chainow and Rozak, "Hey, um, what would make this look like convincingly Fire Nationy? Big old Rose, Fire Nation flag." Rozak's eyes lights up as he says. I have an idea, and he runs around the town oh, no. and starts okay. to like make going? make scorch marks on the ground, and like non damaging one ones on like walls maybe, and like makes it look like that you know, that like he's just running around and like <laughs> tossing some fireballs. Ren watches you doing that. It's like and just okay, but like <laughs> uh, like paint. That's not what I asked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he looks like, like he looks. He's like in full artiste mode. Like so, Che. Like, <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, just ignore help, him. Help me, help uh, me out. No, but, but do you get I'll where I'm coming best. from, though? Do you know what I mean? For sure. Like, he's making like he's like he's making it look like there is like firebenders yeah. attacking yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Steve, you know? Steve's yeah. got you. Great Ren job. just doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Chen yeah. is also not with you, oh, but Nick yeah. understands. Chen <laughs> uh, is like, yeah, we, I mean, we could get some, some like Fire Nation flags like sewn up and maybe fly them cover up some of the main buildings with like big ones if possible and uh just kind of fly the colors basically ren is now realizing that like just yesterday he was saying he wouldn't do any sewing but then runs into the village to go try to find materials to help mobilize and help people sew flags oh bye (laughs) (laughs) so ren so Che and who's who's taking the villagers to the bamboo to to cut things down? So I think Che's sort of digging the trenches. Yep. Ren mm-hmm. is going to go find some material to make some Fire Nation flags and maybe some Fire Nation uniforms. What are the rest of you doing? Yeah. Who's leading the I charge with the villagers? Well, Rosic seems mm-hmm. occupied <laughs> uh, <laughs> making the <laughs> making the village look scorched um I, I think i believe that we talked about osa and liko yeah going to uh lead the villagers mm-hmm. to cut down bamboo okay yeah uh justin quick question yeah um when we were able to acquire some fire in fire nation 
uh, uniforms? Mm-hmm. Were there helmets there as well? Yeah, like, there we get a whole thing. Hel- yep. Okay, cool, yep. cool. So, okay. I think at some point, I don't know exactly how to roleplay this, but at some point, maybe while Rosex is running around, he'll tell the, the rest of the Fabulous Five that um, they, sh- <laughs> they, they should all put on like, you guys should all wear helmets because um, they definitely, at least Tofu definitely saw us yesterday. So he might. Well, Tof- Tofu wasn't us. here, but yeah, the others. His guy, his man. Yeah. The yeah. other Tofu. Yeah, that was a good idea. All right, cool. That's what I was confused about his name. Is it <laughs> Tofu? And Ro- Rohu. Ro- 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 but. What was the name of the guy that came here from the gang? You didn't ask him. Oh, <laughs> 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 I kind of just threatened him. That guy. Let's, let us call him Tofu's guy. You could call him Tofu. Oh, yeah, we'll call him Tofu. Now we can okay. differentiate Rohu and Tofu. And That's tofu. There we go. <laughs> hey, Liko. Uh, how how would you feel about uh, splitting splitting the wood or the bamboo cutting force, and you lead the charge on cutting, and I'll lead the group moving back and forth and carrying all right sounds good so liko will go off and um help with that yeah i'm gonna kind of see if i can pick out the people who seem like they can carry the most and tell them to come with me and point everyone else to follow liko Mm -hmm. all right why don't we go ahead and do this i've created a few moves that we can use one of those is uh search the village um, you should be able to see it if you're in Foundry. It's like the one, two, it's right next to where your character sheets are. It's like the little uh, briefcase. Is it like an other? It's also an other of your. It own also should sheet. be under yes, an mm-hmm. other. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so let's do this. You've got I, I, as it stands right now. I see kind of two two uh, things that you're doing. One is the bamboo fence. Part of that is getting the bamboo down okay um the other is making fire nation flags slash uniforms is there anything else that you guys separate from those two things you guys are setting up to to sell this ruse and help defend the village um didn't we talk about making like like throwable like pseudo grenades for some of the citizens to throw from behind the fence yeah that could be that could be tonight just in case okay tonight all right yeah we can do that tonight and we'll need che to help us learn how to make those explosives convincing well i guess what's what's ren what are you doing right now uh i'm working on sewing all right i guess while rosex running around he's gonna try to find some fishing nets that are big enough to trap a person okay so those those three things and i'm i'm imagining that these roles are sort of representing you doing these things throughout the day if there's anything else you you can stop me and say hey i want to do this specifically um but this is you know i'm imagining setting up these defenses is going to take a good portion of the day for so. sure oh and i do want to mention once um Rose, like doesn't just want to use have the talents people use fishing nets like i feel like that we should like fashion like rocks or something on the corners of them so they're actually throwable okay. and effective. Perfect. Well then let's do this. Um let's have Ren roll search the village. Let's have either Che Osa or Liko roll search the village. And we will also have Rosek roll search the village as well. You've already established what the item or place or thing that you're trying to do is, so you don't have to establish what that is. But uh, depending on what you roll, uh, something else may happen. So I've I've created this move, um, which you can do in stuff like Power of the Apocalypse, especially when there's something like very specific to the narrative that's happening that. Uh, isn't necessarily covered by some of the basic moves, but I've created this so it's when you search the town or the village for a defensible position or item or idea, or, you know, some way to defend the village, roll plus creativity. Um, Justin, you said either excuse me, either Liko, 
Che or Rozuk. Or Osa to represent Osa. Uh, how the bamboo fence goes. All right, so one one of us, yes. not all three of us. Not okay. all three of you, yep. So designate one person. Um, I vote Osa. Yeah, I can do it. Okay, so on a partial success, you find something useful. You've already established what it is. It's bamboo fencing. On a seven to nine, you can choose one. The item or yeah, the item is particularly dangerous. The item can be operated by the town's people without danger to themselves, or the item is easy to disguise, hide. Um, and hopefully, those are broad enough that you can kind of play around with them. Um, and uh, you know, all three of those could be applicable in some way. So I'll leave that up to Osa. Yeah, I'll say that the uh, the item can be operated by the townspeople without danger to themselves. How does that, uh, what are you envisioning? So I'm envisioning that kind of meaning that the bamboo is in a spot that's not too hard to get to, and there's enough room that they'll be able to, to chop stalks down without hurting themselves or one another. Um, okay. I, um, I, so I'm going. imagining this representing the whole the whole process, the whole cutting process. down okay. and then setting up the actual fence. So I would imagine it's something about once the fence is set up that is particularly useful to you. I'll say then once the fence is set up, it, you know, still I think it should be can be operated by the townspeople without danger to themselves. So maybe it's one of the, we can set it up so it's the type of wall that angles away from the village a little bit. So it's hard to climb mm-hmm. and that sort of thing. But on okay. the inside, you can go up and... Mm-hmm you know throw things out um perfect and maybe even some like places to like throw things like from on top of the fence yeah like cool. little like pseudo battlements basically yeah battlements yeah. facing yeah. yeah okay but i think maybe between between the village oh, being a fishing village and their knowledge of like knots and being able to like tie the bamboo stalks together and che being an earthbender and able to you know keep the bamboo planted in the ground well we should be able to make it really solid and sturdy so that is how the bamboo fence goes who ren why don't you roll for how well the, the sewing goes rolling plus creativity also seven okay so again uh on a hit you find something useful in this case you find the cloth that you need in order to make uh fire nation uniforms and some fire nation flags and you get to choose one between the item is particularly dangerous the item can be operated by the townspeople without danger to themselves or the item it can is easy to disguise hide uh, i feel like those aren't super applicable unless i play a ton with them you definitely can play with them but- as much as you want <laughs> can I Steven, say- can I make can I make a suggestion? Sure. Maybe you can broaden upon the first option, and not so much the item is dangerous, but the item is like, like it may, maybe like poses danger, poses a threat. Like it's particularly menacing. intimidating. Yeah, that. yeah. I think that that fits. Yeah. I and that's what were you gonna feel. say though? Uh, yeah. I was I was probably going to work on just like the disguise concept but like flip it and say it's like very convincing disguise <laughs> yeah you so, can go either way then yeah yeah but, it's easy to hide that it's it's fake but mm-hmm. yeah if we intimidate them enough i think that would be a helpful emphasis okay so yeah let's go with let's go with danny's idea uh. glad it wasn't rosic's idea though <laughs> <laughs> what, would, what would rosic's idea be Let's uh, don't, don't invite up, that. And he would have said, <clears throat> that looks like a red water tribe flag. Uh, I've never seen a Fire Nation flag. I'm just saying nonsense. He's start running around and burning things again. Yeah, I could just keep keep charring stuff. That's good. All right. And then Rosic, as he's looking for nets. As he's, yeah. So Rosic, you grab a few of the fishermen and they they help you collect some nets and tie some rocks to them. Why don't you go ahead and roll defending the village? Search, defending sorry, the village. Search the village. Search the town. Okay. I apologize. I was all looking right. at so that's notes. creativity. <laughs> that's all good. My creativity is plus zero. So I'm just rolling straight up. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a four. That is a four. So <laughs> I will keep that in mind. 
<laughs> oh wow! <laughs> no, you that do. Was ominous. You find you do find um, some nets and some rocks, and with the help of the fishermen, you tie a number of them. Enough of them that a you know a handful of villagers can can throw them at the Fire Nation if they get too close to the fence, or if they start climbing over the fence, or if they need to. So. Perfect. Hopefully they work. Justin, can I try something else? Um, yeah, like I said, I I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. Uh, again, I don't want you to like take advantage of this and set up a bunch of like home alone esque <laughs> traps <laughs> of honey and spiders. So I'll leave that up to you guys to be like, I think that's probably enough. That's enough to just go off of for now, and we can always so no no pinchy prawns. No, well, I mean, if that's you know what you want to do, then. <laughs> well, Che was just going to uh, go to uh, Toko's place and ask for like bottles and also like the highest like alcohol content alcohol he had mm. laying around, like the highest alcohol spirits, mm -hmm. and basically f try to fashion as many like you know destructible containers of blasting jelly slash alcohol as he could. Maybe bring some of the the older uh, villagers with him, since that's kind of something that's not going to require a lot of physical ability. Sure, I just kind of toss it. Yeah, I uh, assumed you're going to make like, uh, I mean, you're essentially making Molotov cocktails. Oh yeah, lots um, of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I definitely think that was something you guys had already talked about. So if you want to roll for that, then definitely yes. This one, so eleven. Okay. So uh, with an 11, actually, you get to pick two of those options. I'm going to say the items are particularly dangerous. Yep, that seems <laughs> right. Fitting. <laughs> and also that they are going to be uh, operated by the townspeople without danger to themselves. It's probably the more important one. But There you go. She was going for, you know, shock and all. Okay. Well, I, uh, unless anyone has anything, I, I am imagining that takes the good majority of the day for you guys to set up most of these, these traps and defensible positions for the town. Osa's and pants alone took me like two hours. So yeah. yeah. Thanks, Osa. You had to actually, yeah, stitch together like three Fire Nation soldiers uniforms to make one big enough for Rosa. Yeah, Che is super tired by the time he starts like the bombs, which is probably not a great combo. But he ends up just like <laughs> bringing a bunch of people with him and not explaining anything and just starts like doing it and then just expects everyone. Eventually, everybody just starts like doing it with him. They're like, what does he want us to do? <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So, what else do you it's guys? The end to... of the episode. No, that's I'm just it. Kidding. That's it. We'll see you guys <laughs> next week. We're all prepped. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna postpone this uh, this raid as long as possible. <laughs> no. Uh, no. So again, like that takes most of the day. So what do you, what else do you guys want to do? Um, you you know you can talk to other people. Casa said to stop by her her little shop at some point too today. See, yeah. You know, yeah. There might be some I'd, things there. I was thinking about that. That was what I wanted to do next. Once the once the wall's up and seems secure, I want to go see Casa. Yeah. So you, um, just you, or is anyone else going? I'd make it known to everybody that I'm going, but I'll visit. Chase busy. Chase making more glass. So is Lico. Yeah. So is Lico. busy as well. He's um shooting fire everywhere. <laughs> <Still>. <laughs> Hopefully nowhere near Jay. <laughs> it's just, you know, just the whole aim just goes up. <laughs> like, oh shoot! Ah, uh, let go, let go. <laughs> she was in there. Let go. <laughs> Toka can't see it initially, so he's just like staying in there. He's like Toka's just sitting. He's like, hmm. I got off the fish on too long. <laughs> So it sounds like Osa and Ren are heading over to Casa, and she's uh, in. Uh, she's set up in this little merchant's district that's sort of kind of right off the town square, and it's just like a little cart. But in front of the cart, she's also got this like rug 
cloth that she's laid out a bunch of items and she's like oh man oh, you guys are here it's good to see you it's good to see you again casa oh wow and oh my gosh i don't think i i got either of your names I, so you know me i'm i'm casa but i'm i'm osa and this is ren i've just been i've been watching you guys all day you thank you thank you so much <laughs> you guys are man oh do you want to look look at all look at the stuff i got and she starts throwing stuff at you and most of it is knickknacks and junk but you do notice a few things that catch your eye you see a earthbending scroll you see actually what looks to be a fire nation general's uniform you see uh they look like five tickets like uh almost like theater tickets and you also see a journal as well and this is all amongst like a bunch of just like garbage and knickknacks that look you know there's like a a wooden figurine of a flying bison and uh like a really rusted broken um like machete type sword um I'll, I'll kind of indicate those four items and say would you mind if we took all of these is that uh, i mean we can i can pay you i mean if you want to pay me yeah absolutely yeah sure absolutely yeah i mean so our friend jay has has the coin but if you don't mind us bringing that back to you, just let me know how much you want, and I'll, 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 I'll bring it. Oh man! I mean, how about this? I got a little friend price. I think I, I think <laughs> I can give it to you, right? Can I give you guys a friend price? Uh, uh, yeah, we're your you friends. Guys? Oh man, you guys are the best. Friends like thinking like, did we just get played? Like, what's about to happen right now? Uh, Chase senses a disturbance in the force. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone's Rosic going was, to waste my money <laughs> i wish rosic was there so we can use his suspicious mind probably like i don't know three let's just say three jade uh what did we like bricks is that what we established like three jade bricks i think we called them pieces before pieces? yeah i was uh, picturing like almost like a like a mini like a little bar. tablet yeah. yeah like a little tablet type thing yeah I'm thinking like, yeah, like three three jade bricks. That's that's probably enough. Yeah, we can we can do that. If if uh if none of us brings it to you by the end of the day, tomorrow we owe you four. Oh my gosh, absolutely. <laughs> Deal. She Wait. shakes she shakes your hand. Thank thank you. And make sure make sure you stay inside the walls and you be safe when everything goes down, all right? All right. Yeah. Okay. Well we're gonna go. And uh, I'll make sure I'll make sure Che knows to bring you the money. Thank All you, right. Casa. Oh my gosh! No, thank you, guys. She gives you like the deepest bow. Uh, Casa, what are, what are the tickets? <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, you can look at them, and you take yeah, a look at them, and uh, they are five tickets to something that is called the Badgermal Improv Group at the Fleeting Sparrow Hall in Ba Sing Se. That, that is, is so, so far cool, away, but also far cool. away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shove those in my pocket. It's, it's for a while. Like they're sort of like general admission, so like there's no date on them. You can. Are you, are you scalping tickets? <laughs> I mean, if you want to call it that, I get. I how how old does Casa seem to me? She's probably younger than even Jay. She's probably like thirteen. Damn. I just, I just stop, I just stop Casa from talking. And I'm just like, only respect, only respect. Got hustle, okay. man. <laughs> I'm 100% unconcerned with where she got these items or why she has them, and yeah. I'm already starting to walk away. Um, I'm gonna shove the tickets in my pocket. I'm gonna kind of put the journal under my arm, uh, and I want to look at the. Um, I'll put the airbending scroll in my other arm and I want to try and like look at the fire fire general mm -hmm. uh, uniform and yeah. see if it looks like just eyeballing it if it looks like it might fit like iron. Uh yeah, it does look like it might fit iron. 
It's about his size. It's an earthbending scroll, by the way, too. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, cool. So, um, I'll assume that Ren is nearby still, not still yeah. talking to uh, Casa. Yeah. I'll I'll look at him and I'll say, "All right. Um, if you don't mind, run the scroll to Che, and I'm gonna go." I want to go talk to Iron because I think this uniform will fit him. And if we can, uh, if we can convince them that, ah, uh, well, they'll know Iron. We got to figure out who's going to wear this general's uniform. I think we're all too young. But Iron might know. He knows the village. That's true. And if we're wearing helmets, like uh, Rosic said, yeah, eh, maybe I won't go see Iron. Let's go find Jay and Liko. Okay. And and Rosa. If you guys exit, um, as soon as you leave, you see Rosa just lying in the middle of the town square in a pool of sweat, just <laughs> panting. <laughs> <sighs> Mark five passes fatigue. by Rosa and is like, How's it going? I don't know about you guys, but I did some hard work just now. Wow. Got a lot done. <clears throat> uh, Liko. Hey, Liko. Hey. <laughs> hey, um, we got some stuff. Do you know where Che is? I think we should all talk. Uh, follow the smell of alcohol, I suppose. Uh, wow, where's where's shots where's fired. Where's brother? <laughs> What'd you well, say? He's messing with it. Is Che Do drinking? You know he... <laughs> Rosex prints to the tavern. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the direction Che is. We should just follow Rosa. Okay. He sprints, he slams open the door, he says, Che! What? <laughs> He's got like, put down the bottles! I, I, got, I, got, I need to use these. I need to mix them for the villagers. The, the bombs for the villagers. Why would I put them? What are you, what's wrong? Thanks, there's like a while to process. And then he realizes his younger brother is, in fact, not an alcoholic. And he says, oh, all right, all right, sorry. I, I just thought you were being reckless um we, that's we a great idea che drinks together well yeah, i mean i am mixing bombs but that's it's um that's perfectly fine. reasonable. it's usefully <laughs> reckless though ah, I mean, I that's what we need like what i was doing the entire night you mean when you were just firebending around Day, the town rather yeah. yeah okay all right that was incredibly useful <laughs> for you sure try to be like your older brother sometimes che Oh, I I definitely try to with all of my being. <laughs> all right. Well, Rosex gonna sit down and ask for some tea. I'm assuming by now the rest of us have reached. The- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll say, hey, so um, Ren and I just got some stuff from Casa. Uh, Jay, you're gonna have to go and give her uh three jade bricks by the end of the day, or we owe her four. Oh, uh, okay, all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll go do that. Great. Okay, before you do that, here's an okay. earthbending scroll. And, uh, oh, awesome. Um, we also have this this fire general uniform that she had. So this, we all bought we bought all this stuff off her. We have tickets that are in my pocket for a thing in Boston. <laughs> Say those don't matter right now. But this earthbending general, I think that maybe Liko should wear it. Because if she has a helmet on, they won't know that it's Liko. And it'll be more convincing because there's a general. And I think we lost a lot of fabric making my uniform. <laughs> so it's good that we have another one. Um, also, there's this journal, but I haven't looked in it yet. I should look at it. I'm going to open it. <laughs> <laughs> right then. <laughs> what do we see, Justin? Uh, you see it is the journal of a man named uh monong and it is uh he's like an explorer and it details uh his adventures but you know it's most of it almost seems kind of embellished um but some of it also sounds like he was a pretty legit person and the the thing that catches your eye is he talks about a hidden system of tunnels under the city of Omashu and a secret power that was hidden deep under the city of Omashu. Cool. Right. We'll tuck this away. And, sounds uh, like a bunch of crazy talk. You should just put it away. 
Well, we, did he tell us about it? Oh, I would have like oh, read yeah. it out loud if I'm reading it right oh, then with all yeah. of you guys there. Oh, well, she would have left because he money's on the line and he's got to go figure out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Okay, so everyone but Shay <laughs> would have heard that then. Uh, as he's walking, well, I, I assume they told me where it was. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, no. He leaves and comes back and he's like, where was I supposed to pay this money? <laughs> oh, I'll show you there. Uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> All right. And uh, he'll go pay pay the lady three shade pieces. <laughs> Just nice. three. Oh, my gosh. Thank, thank you so much. And she bends down to, to take it from you. And uh, Ren, you said you're with him, right? Yes. Okay. You also notice she's wearing, uh, she's got like a war fan on her side. It's like a metal war fan. Did I not see this before? She she was not really moving around, but when she bends down, her coat kind of slips and shows this metal war fan next to her. I immediately pat my sides to check that my war fans are on my person. What about there? Uh, I, I guess I'd be too curious. Casa, uh, was that a war fan? You saw that, didn't you? Yeah. Is is that like, like a Kyoshi war fan? Uh, Are you a cop? You got to tell me if you're a cop. Uh, I don't know what that is. Mm, that's the sort of thing a cop would say. I don't think Kyoshi Island has. He's really, this. really not a cop. I promise. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a Kyoshi War fan. How did you get cool. it? Um, would you believe me if I told you someone just left it here? Not if you ask like that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I might, maybe, just potentially have taken it off of a Kyoshi warrior who was passing through. Wow. <laughs> impressive. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive. You know, Casa, water under the bridge at this point. <laughs> Fine with me. To be honest, Kasa, I'm in trouble with that. the Kyoshi warriors too. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> oh, Che. You're there still. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. <laughs> That's, uh, well, yeah. That Just uh, stay quiet I, about it's, it. It's, yeah, it's fine. I, I won't tell anybody. Thanks. <clears throat> no problem. Um, and so uh, what, uh, I mean, this is different because this is like a, it's a metal war fan. I'm oh, assuming. do I feel like that's like a, even like a higher status kind of deal? I mean, from what I know about using fans to fight, um, I don't think they're metal. And I think even in the show, Suki used like bamboo ones. Yeah, they feel, they seem like thin slats that are connected by some kind of ring piece. Yeah. Although um, sometimes in the art, you'll see like they have actual hard ends that could be metal. Sure. This is like a f- almost completely metal war fan. So it, that's another reason why it catches your eye too. Yeah. Does it seem decorative in nature? Well, you're sort of staring at it, and Casa goes, "You kind of, kind of interested in this?" K- kinda, yeah. All right. Uh, hey, you, uh, give me another jade, jade piece, and uh, it's your friends. I look at Shay, and I'm like, kind of just doing a please face. Shay <laughs> yeah, sees it, and they, you know, he's, he's a, he accepts it, and he tosses her a jade piece. It's like, all right, deal. Yeah, here you go. She hands it to you. Awesome. Anything I notice in detail? It's lighter than you expected it to be. Does it seem like I could actually use it as a weapon? It seems pretty deadly. I'm thinking this is a throwing fan. Gonna pocket that. That is pretty cool. All right, well, thank you, Casa, uh, for Ka- whatever Casa, we if you come across any more items of interest... Please let us know. Absolutely. As long as you pay me. We're probably well, the best customers in this village, given that everyone else deals in fish. That is a good point. But we get a lot of visitors, actually. So. All 
You know, now that I think about it, why hasn't anyone else stopped to deal with the bandits? Huh. She just like goes back to like counting her money. <laughs> because they don't care. All right. Uh, also, on the way back, well, I just assume Che and Ren are leaving. Yeah. But uh, on the way back, Che's going to open up that scroll that was that Elsa had handed him. Okay. Uh, what, is, what are we looking at? Some earthbending forms? How long are you taking to study it? Uh, just like a cursory glance. I, he only knows like basic earthbending forms. Yeah. It, he so, was really trained in earthbending. Yeah. So this is actually, it looks like a, it looks like a way to throw up some, some walls, like very sturdy walls from a cursory glance. Cool. That might be helpful. Could be like Rosic. Yeah, you'd probably have to study a little bit more to, you know, actually, actually learn how to. Learn. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's really cool. <laughs> Just imagining it being like Skyrim, where he opens the scroll and immediately knows how to do what's written inside. <laughs> Instantaneously gain three skill levels. <laughs> Roda. <laughs> Uh, yeah. increased. <laughs> so I'll uh, wrap that back up and keep it for later. All right, you guys get back, and uh, what do you do? It's it's probably, I'm imagining, pretty late now. That probably took you most of the day, so if there's something you want to do, otherwise... Probably I'm just, sleep. like, nervous eating. <laughs> well, when Che gets back, you'll also see Oso is reading whatever that book was and be like, so what did it say? It was talking about a secret that's buried under the city of Amashu. That sounds cool. Anyone yeah. ever been? Should... I've never. I don't know. I haven't either. Like, we should definitely check it out when we're done with all the stuff we need to do. It's sort of on the way, right? It's here. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget, too, that part of the goal is telling the cities along the way about True. what happened to and Omar oh, shows yeah. the second biggest city in the Earth Kingdom so hmm. yeah so it, it should be a goal of ours and if we yeah, find we a secret weapon in yeah. yeah I like it oh also uh, Che Che will say uh, thank you for the scroll by the way uh, there's some advanced bending forms in here that I'm gonna try and study up on awesome that's great I mean, you're the only youth printer I know so of course I was gonna give it to you Oh, thanks. Ren can't use it. Ren can't do much. I mean, he does his best. That's what matters. At some yeah. point, should we try to get a hold of a map? <laughs> <laughs> that That's a good point. That literally just came to mind. I was like, like, that is the best idea you've had. You guys mentioned Omashu, and I realized I know it's in the <laughs> Earth Kingdom. <laughs> I feel like just by dumb luck, he throws out enough ideas that occasionally one of them just hits real hard. Uh, <laughs> I'm imagining, too, like, this conversation is going around him, and he's just like... No, no, he thinks about it. He writes it in his note in his notes first, and then he says it out loud. This is like idea number 35. <laughs> he writes Map Maker as another idea, totally unrelated, and then he's like, Map. Map. <laughs> Map maker. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. <laughs> but like a word association, like idea thirty six is like take a nap, 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 nap. nap. <laughs> Red immediately <laughs> leaves to go find a map. <laughs> Maybe he he Rose like yells to Red. Maybe Casa has one. Huh. And she's like, the man. she seems like an incredibly trustworthy, honest little girl who just is a great <laughs> merchant and has a wonderful stock of items <laughs> i think ren is already feeling guilty enough about like spending that extra piece um that i'm gonna go to the mayor okay see if he has a map yeah mayor map jay's gonna follow anyways because he just assumes he's going to buy it and jay's like i have the money so i'm just gonna <laughs> come with all right <laughs> but uh we'll see do i find iron yep he's in his house knock knock uh, yeah, you come in. Hi, Iron. Um, do you have a map of like the world? <laughs> <laughs> do I have a map of the world? Um, I could try and find 
something for you. I, I didn't know you needed a map of the world. Are, aren't you just defending Guanya? Uh, well, now, yes, but we were going somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, and I don't know if we can just happen to find our way there. So if you have a big map, that'd be great. I can look around for one. I'll see. I'll, yeah, I'll see if I can get you something. I, I think I can get you something. Yeah, the bigger the better. I'll we'll take whatever like, you've got. Out of obviously out of character, since Rosak isn't there, but I feel like even just a map of the Earth Kingdom would suffice. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I shot a little too big there. <laughs> I mean, do you take a world map if possible? <laughs> I, I might be able to find an, an Earth Kingdom map. Definitely that for sure. Maybe a map of the world. We'll see. We will take Earth it. Kingdom map would sure, for sure be more useful. Earth Kingdom, like map of the world. I'm just imagining like it's just country names and not a <laughs> huge atlas. Like maybe maybe province names. <laughs> we we get the map of the world. We look at it and we're like, oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> this is not I basically knew it looked like that. But <laughs> <laughs> there's but no red we? arrow. <laughs> there's no red arrow saying where we are. <laughs> Does this have global positioning? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all I got. I'm waiting on that. If anyone wants to do something. If um, not. Oh yeah. Yeah, Rose like just also we I wanna make a point that we're like I wanna like light up. Maybe with like torches or something. I'm sure we I can know. make like crude Yes. Rose like is gonna just take some time to chill, you know. No, no, he won't. Bro's like a hard worker. <laughs> but um, what? he, he I don't was know, that an man. internal conflict? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he argued with himself on that one. I feel like Rosic was fighting to get out of Danny. This is Rosic and Danny fighting, you know. No, no, um, Rosic, not yet, not yet. No, no, Rosic, you can come out later, man. Just calm down. Um. I want to make a point to like light up the battlements slash like walls that we've made with like crude torches or something. I just want to, it's probably a very minor detail. That's a nice touch. But yep. I just want to make sure that, you know. So you can, yeah, light them on fire when the Otherwise, comes. everyone's going to be as blind as an Unagi. Specifically, the blind kind of Unagi. All right. If there's nothing else, it's probably a, a decent time to, to bed for the night. Yeah. Although, Osa and Rosic, um, Osa, you're sort of like going through, you know, you're going down for the night and you're looking at the stuff you own. You notice that your flute is missing. And mm. Rosic, I'm not sure where you keep it. Um, well, where do you keep your mother's hairpin that you keep with you? It is like side satchel, probably. Yeah, it's gone too. Hey, have any of you guys seen a uh, flute around? I immediately stopped playing the flute in the corner quietly and hide. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I uh, sorry. <clears throat> I I haven't I haven't seen it. Rosic just looks at Che with wide, angry eyes and goes, "Che, what? You know how much that means to me. What mean? What means? What? Just, give, just give it back." I have no and idea what you're talking about. You you didn't grow up with her. You have no idea the sentimental value that that has for me. You just give it back. I do not know what My, you are talking mom's about. Mom's hairpin, Che. I don't have it. And also, that was a low bro. Low, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're a low bro. <laughs> you're a low bro, bro. Low bro. Low bro. <laughs> That one got away from me. I'm gonna be honest. Um, who would that was a long want to steal from us? Maybe it, the little girl who was selling all the stolen stuff. They were stolen. <laughs> I'm gonna just kind of calm, as calmly as I can, just go down and go leave and go towards Sudden, where Casa's car was. Suddenly, see you feel Rose like sprint past you. <laughs> Che will follow. Uh, it's it's late at night and it's dark out and she is oh. packed up for the evening, so she's not there. I will so close. I'm staying behind and searching all of my belongings to make sure. Is there stuff still in there? there? Oh, like, is, can we not get in there? It's like a it's like a, almost like a food cart esque thing that's just like oh, out okay. in the town square. So like, 
There's it's nothing em- on it's it. It's empty right now. Yeah. Okay. Can we go? Uh, we should, should, sh- Does anyone know where Kaza lives? Yeah. Should we check with um? What's the mayor's? The mayor. Should we check? Iron. 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 Yeah. Should we go check with him? Yes. Okay. Let's go. So she goes with. Yeah, I'm just gonna head to Iron's and knock on the door. It's, he's probably asleep, but we're as gonna wake him up. Firmly but politely as I as I can. He, uh, the door opens and he's wearing like a Nike and he's like, oh. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, sorry, yes. Uh, so so sorry to bother you, sir, but where where does Casa live? <laughs> it's important. Um, she lives over there. Uh, I, I point, try and get pinpoint the, yeah, the right he points, spot. He points to like a, you can barely call it a house. It's like four walls and almost no roof. And it's like right behind her cart. Okay. Uh, well, Tay will walk over there. Does the, does the door look like it's sturdy? It's like hanging on its hinges. Like you could literally just like nothing is holding it from you just like and from from where we are before we even get over there i'm gonna try and air bend just blow the door oh that's hilarious because che at the same time che does like a spinning kick like you'd see like a fireman or shoot a fire blast from but he carries a rock on the bottom of his foot as he spins and then launches it at the end of the kick at the door so (laughs) we'll see what happens (laughs) all of these things happening First I was off. just gonna say yeah, Rosex like, lighting the way with a fireball in his hand. She <laughs> <laughs> so internalized that uh, that comment about not knowing your mother. So we'll see how this anger goes through. Oh, God. And uh, <laughs> there's this blast of air and this giant rock that just crashed through the door. <laughs> and you hear, <laughs> and Casa stumbles out. Hi. Oh, hi. Rosic lights up his both his arms. Like, okay, all right. Just remember, I'm a twelve year old girl. <laughs> Did you a thief? You're a thief. <laughs> Did you take a, a foot and a hairpin from the blind Unagi? Would you believe me if I just found those things? No. Where are they? Two jade pieces. No. Where are they? She oh. now takes like the jelly encrusted stones from under his like his sleeves and ignites them and holds them up in the air and is like just tell us where they are i'm so glad i stayed behind for the shake down <laughs> of this 12 year old 12 year old girl uh, uh, fine, I, fine i would object so hard to this they're in my house get them no. okay <laughs> she goes and um now that you've kicked the door down you can see like it's there's like nothing in there there's no furniture she's like sleeping on a cot on the floor there's like barely a roof on it Mm. she brings it back and she's like sorry sorry i took your stuff you said we were friends friends don't steal from their friends che will put out his uh (laughs) fireballs and put them away i know I know, I know. Friends don't steal. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just so easy to steal things. <laughs> what I am sorry. <laughs> what a great power line. I am. I am. I know you guys are doing a lot, and I'm sorry. Here, and she gives all the jade pieces back. I owe you this much. Is, is this enough? Can I, I, I want to like r- r- kind of interject and say like, you need this, you keep it, but don't steal from friends. It's like doing that thing that kids do when they're like looking shifty eyed and yeah, no, you, you, we bought those things from you. We don't, you don't owe us that money. Just don't ever steal from us again. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Um, Rosic is gonna extinguish his flamey arms and yank the hairpin out of her hand. He's gonna say, "I don't even want to hear your ideas anymore." And he's gonna he's gonna walk back to where they were sleeping. Another low bro. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, As a real quick uh, aside, uh, right right as everybody's leaving, uh, 
Che is going to stop uh, and like whisper to uh, Casa. It was a nice heist, but it was the wrong mark. And he's going to hand her two jade coins and then walk away. Uh, give her a wink and walk away. That's why Che is the money manager. <laughs> <laughs> the money guy. <laughs> but you guys leave and make your way back to the blind Unagi. Does Ren find anything missing? Yes, he searches. Most of you don't find okay. anything missing. Okay, good. So, you guys sleep for the night. Um, if you have anything you want to do before they come, let me know. Otherwise, I'm imagining it's pretty much just getting ready for, for sundown. When I want to talk back. to uh, Toko really quick. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, you're probably like... Uh, you know, maybe you stay up late. Yeah, if he's if he's up, then I'll. He's, talk he to him stays up late. Bit. He's. I'll go shut down the bar and. Uh, hey, what what's up? I'm just. You, you really helped me the other night, and. Uh, I mean, you, you know Casa. And, yeah, you know, yeah. She, she stole some stuff from me and Rosa. Can we? We went and got it back from her. I don't really necessarily feel feel very good about how we got it back. But we saw her house when we were when we were getting our stuff. And uh I mean between the fact that she was stealing from us after she said we were friends and the state that she lives in, I think I think she needs some help. I think that maybe you could she could use some help from you. I don't know how you feel about that, but why don't why don't you plead? Okay. Do it. <laughs> plead, plead, plead with you, Ains. Uh, and what what does that roll too? Because let's see, harmony. It's harmony. Okay. Yeah, you know, if it. you if you want to, um, since we're all learning the game, we're all new at this. Uh, there is a move called live up to your principles when you take an action in accordance with the value of a principle mark one fatigue to roll with that principle instead of whatever stat you would normally roll this seems to me like you're you're living into carry mm. so if you wanted to you can mark a fatigue and add plus one to the roll i don't know if you need it now since you've already rolled but well i would yeah i would definitely need it to make it a success so i'll, I'll do that yeah and so it becomes a seven yep nice. okay oh so you care bear I don't, um, I'm not quite sure what I can give her, I'm just a old blonde man. But she needs so much more. She lost her parents to Rohu a couple years back. I ain't been the same since. But I don't, all of us are struggling. But you, I think you understand how to help. I mean, you help me. You help people who lost their way. I think there's things that you understand that we don't. I think she needs your understanding. Well, if she'll have a blind old fool, I'll see if she wants to stay. Yeah, I mean, even if it's your, it's your, it's your, uh, your place. I can't, I can't make any decisions for you, obviously. But maybe if you offered her a job here, helping you out, you could use her eyes and she could get your wisdom. There are nomads taught you well, son. Thank you. All right, I should I should go to bed. It's a big day tomorrow. Ren would like to have a sidebar with Liko. Liko, are you asleep? Yeah, I think she is, actually. I think she's like, <laughs> oh, I'm going to feel bad about having woken you up, but uh, I already did. <laughs> okay, what's up? <laughs> so, when we get through this tomorrow, <clears throat> do you, are you sure you want to go into the swamp? I haven't really thought about it. Because I feel like I trust Iron more now. Um, yeah, I think I think I should find out where I came from. I'd like to attempt to just like support, so like the comfort and support mechanic. Yeah, that sounds like comforting and supporting. 
yeah i just want to say like yeah i you know whatever you decide i've got your back okay run why don't so, you roll sorry two. for waking you up <laughs> <laughs> ren roll to comfort or support okay you got a four i guess i was not very comforting or supportive <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, I literally rolled snake eyes plus yeah. a bonus of two. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, hi, I want to comfort you. You <laughs> when <laughs> you are just zero you grace. <laughs> offer this m- moment of saying, I'll always support you. And all of a sudden, you just overwhelmed with how little your parents supported you Me? how much they forced yep yeah, how much they ah, forced shoot. things on you how much they never listened to the ways that you wanted to be helped yep. and even in the midst of you trying to comfort and support Liko, it's just it's just hard for you to get over that and so um why don't you mark insecure Lego does uh no ren does ren does okay ren marks insecure yeah i'm feeling it no rosak just w- is gonna walk uh and sit next to shay shay is studying the scroll he's just sitting next to him as he's gripping his uh, mother's hairpin he's just gonna sit there and just say uh shay i'm i'm sorry man you know i said some things there I shouldn't have said. It was in the heat of the moment. And you know, I do believe that you know how much this means to me and how much mom meant to me. And I don't wanna, you know, demean what mom means to you as well. You know, it's not our fault that we were ripped out of a normal childhood. And yeah, I'm sorry, man. No, I mean you were right, is I wasn't raised by her. Uh, it's not anything wrong to say, I guess. But hey, I mean, maybe there's some of her in me, even though I wasn't with her. I mean, you sounded just like dad when you were like that. Oh, yeah. So. I can I can definitely see some of her in you. And that's probably a lot of what helps me, Tina, keep going. Wow. When did Wanya start up there? Uh, you guys didn't see the NASCAR, the NASCAR track? It was just tracks. like, it's <laughs> literally just outside the village. <laughs> Guys, go to bed. (laughs) It's 12 at night. Why are you racing race cars right now? I feel insecure. Go to bed. (laughs) (laughs) No, I don't don't know if this needs anything mechanically, but Um, yeah, no. Rose, I just wanted to clarify. Okay. Nice. Um, On a hit. Uh, Che decides whether they open up to you. It, It sounds like he did open up to him. I was trying to pause it to have you roll first and then have Shay decide, mm. but it sounds yeah. like he did. He wasn't really rebuking him, but what he yeah, said was wasn't so necessarily I, I heard either. that. It was, yeah, it was a little passive. Just to be clear. Sure. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. But he, so then, it was, uh, he was Rosa can it. ask uh, Che one question, and it, you have to uh, ask them any question. Anyone who answers a question honestly may choose to clear a condition or to fatigue. So, Che, he gets to ask you a question. You get to decide whether or not you answer it honestly. What is your one question? I think Che is... I wasn't really expecting to be brought up with another question, but I think Rosic actually wants to ask Che while the, while they're talking. Um, so when we do arrive in Bossing Say eventually, would you like to try to go see Mom? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, more, more than anything, I'm... I don't know. Dad would never talk about her. Yeah. I mean, I'd ask and then he'd get real mad. So I stopped asking. But I would, yeah, I'd love to meet her. All right. Bet. Bro, high five. Guys, go to bed. Say, I'll give him a high five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so insecure, guys. Go to bed. <laughs> Shay, if you, ha- if you have a condition marked, you all can right, yeah. clear it. And after that, I can clear the fatigue, but I don't think anyone has fatigue. You all bed for the night and you wake up and you spend the remainder of the day working through some of the last minute details, working with the people of the town to uh, make sure that the village is is secure and ready. 
And as the sun begins to set, you stand in the middle, or you stand outside of the town in your Fire Nation uniforms, and you begin to hear the the sound of hoofbeats racing towards Wanya Village. And I, I feel like if we, if this is a movie, it'd be... And we will (laughs) jump into what happens next, next week. Thank you all so much for listening to this episode of the Flying Bison Podcast. We hope you're enjoying it. We're enjoying it. And uh, yeah, listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. Follow us on social media. Uh, If you do uh, have the ability, we'd love it if you give us a five-star review. It's one of the ways in which uh, people can hear about us and it gets spread and i did hear that if you give us a five-star review (laughs) danny will crash a plane into your house help you collect the insurance money and if you ask really nicely maybe he'll run away to mexico with you it's my specialty (laughs) all right well uh, we'll look forward to that plane and uh we will see you next week Bye. 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 bye bye goodbye Avatar Legends was developed and produced by Magpie Games. The worlds of Avatar The Last Airbender and Avatar The Legend of Korra are property of Viacom CBS. Intro music is Dizu by Sendai. Outro music is Tokyo Funk by LATG Music. Logo and art by Kate and Matthew Menke. You can find more of their work at pomican.com. Link in the show notes.